Hey everyone, Couch Investor back with another Square video for you today. So in December, I made a video about Square potentially acquiring a music streaming company called Tidal, majority owned by Jay-Z. And today they actually officially announced that Square is acquiring majority stake in that company. So we're going to go over everything we know right now. Most of them will be tweets by Jack himself. I'm just going to share my thoughts as well. And the past video will be in the top right corner if you want to check that out. Before I do so, I just want to thank everyone that has been subscribing lately. We're on our way to 14,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. So without further ado, let's dive into this. Right, so first tweet here, Square is acquiring a majority ownership stake in Tidal through a new joint venture with the original artist becoming the second largest group of shareholders and Jay-Z joining the Square board. Pretty, pretty big move if you ask me. And here comes the big question. Why would a music streaming company and a financial service company join forces? Well, it comes down to a simple idea of finding new ways for artists to support their work. New ideas are found at the intersections and we believe there is a compelling one between music and the economy, making the economy work for artists is similar to what Square has done for sellers. Okay, okay, I can see where this is going. He continues by saying Square started 12 years ago by giving small sellers a simple tool in order to participate more fully in the economy and grow. We did the same for individuals with Cash App, which now enables a comprehensive set of financial services for folks who weren't able to access it before. Tidal started with the idea of honoring artists by being artist owned and led, focused on an uncompromised experience of the art it's refreshing and right. The vision only grows stronger as it's matched with more powerful tools for artists, inclusive of new ways of getting paid. This is something we spoke about in our last video. How are they going to make this work? It's probably going to be with Cash App being the major sponsor, let's say, for those artists, you, the individual, being able to sponsor those artists, a bit like what Spotify has been doing. Given what Square has been able to do for sellers of all sizes and individuals through Cash App, we believe we can now work with artists to see the same success for them and us. We're going to start small and focus on the most critical needs of artists and growing their fan bases. Square created ecosystems of tools for sellers and individuals and we'll do the same for artists. We'll work on entirely new listening experiences to bring fans closer together, simple integrations for merch sales, okay, modern collaboration tools and new complementary revenue streams. Now we're getting to see more and more interesting stuff. To all Tidal's current listeners and fans, thank you for your loyalty and commitment to artists and their work. Tidal will continue to be the best home for music, musicians and culture. Our commitment to you is to constantly listen, learn and work to make a service you love. And he ends by saying, I'm grateful for Jay's vision, wisdom and leadership. I knew Tidal was something special as soon as I experienced it. I honestly never heard of Tidal before there were rumors that Square was about to acquire that company, but here we are, and I'm inspired to work with him. He now helped lead our entire company, including Seller and the Cash App app, as soon as the deal closes. All right, so a lot of us were very, very skeptical at first when you heard the rumors back in December, but it really fits the vision of Square. Obviously, it's a big move to put Jay-Z in the board of Square, but we'll see how that works out. But overall, I really like this tweet here where he said that Square created ecosystems of tools for sellers and individuals, and we'll do the same for artists. We'll work on an entirely new listening experiences to bring fans closer together, simple integrations for merch sales. Merch sales are going to be very, very big. Modern collaborations tool, again, another type of revenue stream that Cash App and Square will win from that, and new complementary revenue streams for the artists and especially for Square and Cash App as well. So I would love to hear what you have to say about this in the comments below. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied as a Square shareholder, but we're going to see where this leads us in the future. Obviously, the effect of this acquisition, we will only see that in the next couple of quarters, if not years. That will be it for this video. If you liked it, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.